guys, I'm Etta Rosa with Etta Rosa LLC. We are a paralegal firm and we offer legal consulting for law firms. I want to congratulate you on watching your first video in success for your firm. So this is not only for firms that are just beginning or just trying to open or just trying to figure things out. This is also for the firms that are in the middle of it that are just trying to re-strategize, um, reconstruct their firm in order for it to like run a little smoothly and obviously create success in the end or more success. And this can also be for full-fledged firms that um, have CEOs and CFOs and are, again, just trying to look for something different, um, a more streamlined process to just run more efficiently and create that top number, top dollar that you want. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna create a process. What do I mean by that? Well, you wanna create something that will last you from intake all the way to settlement, trial, arbitration, mediation, whatever your end game is. So from the moment that your client walks through that door, virtually, on the phone, whatever, I'm just theoretically, to the moment that the client says, thank you for your service. That's what you want to think about. You wanna think about your welcome kit. How do you wanna present yourself the first time? You wanna go ahead and give them the pretty pens with your logos and the pads and all this and that, but you also wanna give them a roadmap. You wanna give them something tangible so that they know what to expect, when to expect it from whom. You wanna let them know that this staff member is designated for their case and that any questions aside from you can be answered by this person or relayed to you by this person. All that information you want to give them up front. And of course, if there's any changes, you want to continuously provide them with those changes. And then you want to think about the commonalities of your cases. So most practices have maybe one or two, um, I guess, practice of laws. So you either are a personal injury, family law firm, criminal, um, whatever the case may be. And in every case, in every state, we all have commonalities of the case. We all know we have the demand stage, demand doesn't work, we file a complaint, then we wait for the responses, then you know there's discovery, trial. So there's always like a common pattern to basically any case. And if you've been practicing long enough or if you've done your research long enough, you will notice that there are certain commonalities. Of course, there's gonna be in and outs. It's always gonna be a case by case basis. It's always gonna be, it depends, right? That's like our number one caveat in law that it always depends. But you wanna kinda of create like a streamline. Um, a great example of this, and one of my clients actually did this and I kind of grabbed their idea, is a head start. So they went ahead, they did a questionnaires as to kind of what the commonalities are when interrogatories come into play, requests for production, all these little things that you know, you know they're going to ask and all this information that you know you're going to need ahead of time. Might as well just ask for it up front. Why are you waiting until the ends or anything like that? Just grab all that information now. That way it gives the client plenty of time to do whatever it is that they need to do and get whatever information they need. And that way you already have it. And all you have to do is call them up and be like, hey, has anything changed from the time that you provided us this information? If so, please send it to us. That way you're not scrounging around. It eliminates the extensions requests because you have all the information up front. You have everything that you need, at least the bulk of it. And then if there's any intricacies, of course, and specifications, of course, then that's all the client needs to um, focus on at that point and your staff as well. So it will eliminate all these little time consuming tasks, both for your staff and for yourself. So that's a little tidbit that you can do. Now you wanna go in and once you create this process, once you have it down packed, once you have all your templates and everything in order, then you want to train your staff on your process. And I don't mean a one day training where you sit them down and you go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, this is how you use your software. No, 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 no. This has, has, has to be an ongoing training session. Hey, so I know we went over this process, but however, in this particular case, we're gonna have to do it this way. The attorney should always be in constant communication with their staff regarding legal strategy, regarding how they want to handle the case in general, and deadlines. 
that's always constant communication. That should never be like, well, you should have known. Like, nobody's going to assume what you're thinking. I know that's what you think, but nobody's assuming anything, um, especially in law. Nobody wants to assume anything. And the paralegal doesn't know where you want to go unless you let them know, hey, this is how I want to do it. And this is why the process is in place. Great. Now I know where you want to go. Now I know how things are going to be done on this case. Perfect. Let's move on from there. Eliminates communication issues, you know, scratches everything about, I thought I told you, da, da, da. no, 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 none of that. All that's gone. You have a meeting, you talk about it, you legal strategize. That's what the team's about. That's why you have your staff. That's why you have your colleagues. And that's why you have all these other resources so that you can come up with a great plan for your staff and their information and move forward with your case. Now you want to stick to this process, obviously. So after you create it, after you train your staff, you want to stick to the process long enough to see if it even works. Because if it doesn't, then obviously you're going to have to change it. If something's not working, you have to figure out one, why. Why is it not working? What did I miss? Take examples. On this case, it didn't work because of this, this, and this, so maybe we should modify it a little bit. On this case, it didn't work because of this, this, and this, so let's modify it. And then you con it's a constant growing process. The process always grows. It grows with the firm. It grows with the growing pains of the staff. Um, you know, if you have a new uh, client or you have a new staff member, it's always going to change. It's never going to be an ABC thing. Law is not ABC. Neither should your firm, neither should your process. But it should be in, I guess, your process should be in process, right, for lack of a better word, at least long enough to see if it works. So try it on two or three cases. Try it with this particular staff member and see if it works. I would say try it for the life of a case. Um, so I don't want to tell you seven days, 30 days, 60 days, because the life of a case can be a year, two years. So it doesn't, so try it for each particular case and see if it works on each particular case. Maybe you need to create different processes for different types of cases. That's something that you need to think about. That's something that you need to evaluate. All this needs to be put in place before you can build your team and before you can actually you know, build success. You need to have concrete firm um, processes in place in order for your success to be at the maximum for your top dollar to come in. You need to be organized, you need to be prepared, and you need, and it all starts with having a sturdy, hard process. So if you need anything else, let me know. We can go over specific you know, details depending on the type of practice and what state. Obviously, that all depends. So let me know. Contact me. Subscribe. Email me. Do what you got to do. But don't forget. Create your process. Have a good one.